Thanks for coming in. Um, just a few short questions. Um, in listening to the previous speakers, um, in 1930, if there was 100 million cattle in the world, and if there was 100 million cattle today, um, have the 100 million contributed more now than the 100 million in, in 1930? Can you explain that? Is there more methane in the air, or are the cattle different? Try and answer that. So yeah. that to actually keep the warming effect of, const of methane constant, you would need to reduce by about 3% per decade. That's because of the warming impact of the methane on, in particular, the oceans, which take thousands of years. 3% per decade? 3% per okay. decade. That's if you wanted to keep... So your 100 million cattle today would have an additional warming impact because your because the con the the effect of the methane being constant is actually a slight increase and that's because of feedbacks within the climate system perhaps Yuri can come in with more on that but that's my under that's my understanding from the literature is you'd have okay. to reduce by 3% um, the per previous decade. speaker um, when i asked the question that if the world decided um, to reduce by 20% all the methane out of the cattle. Um, the previous speaker stated that it wouldn't bring the world temperatures down only by hundreds of 1%. Do ye agree with that? So, so again, I, uh, the, the warming impact as assessed by IPCC and as both Yuri and myself said is half a degree of the emissions. And the, the methane is a flow. So if we reduce the uh, methane burden by 20%, so if we reduce 20% methane across the board, yeah. and actually the easier parts of methane are, are waste landfill and fossil yeah. fuels, and we should be chasing those like bullio. But if we cut 20% across the board, after a period of time, about 20% of that what half a degree that would have gone. What length is that time, roughly? Sorry for interrupting you. It would, be, it, it would be the time that it would take for the methane to disappear. So this is the half-life of methane. Professor so Mac half of it's gone. Professor McMullen wants to make a comment yep. as well. Just to say, we need to distinguish a little bit between the long-term temperature effect, uh, which would, would be relatively small, but the short-term, and by short, long-term, I mean hundreds of years to thousands of years, uh, and then the short-term effect, which is within this century, say 30 to 60 years. Um, and any change in the methane burden, hopefully we will succeed in peaking global temperature within the next 30 years. You know, we can see what's already happening. If we don't manage to peak temperature within the next 30 years, we'll probably globally be in a situation that is beyond any prospect of human adaptation. Okay, so this period of the few decades ahead is absolutely critical. And so that warming impact from methane that contribution from methane to maintaining global temperature over these next, you know, four to six, three to six decades is absolutely critical. And really any reduction in methane flow now will manifest itself exactly in that time scale. So in order to limit that peak of temperature and keep it at some level that we have some prospect uh, of surviving, of managing or ad adapting to, uh, then managing down the methane burden is absolutely critical and all the models run by the IPCC that meet the 1.5 goal rely on methane emissions from all sources, okay, fossil, uh, ruminant agriculture, landfill, uh, rice paddies, all of those sources, uh, unless they reduce substantially in the coming decades, we will not limit the peak of temperature to 1.5 Yeah, but what degrees. I'm asking one simple question, you don't agree with the professors that was here before that stated that if you reduced the methane by 20% worldwide, it would only uh, amount to hundreds, was the word, of one degree. Is that, are you saying that's incorrect? Yes. It would be, it would be, and uh, Yuri can probably come in here better, because the warming is half a degree. On the time scale that that would work itself through, which wouldn't be immediate, it would be 20% of the warming. So it would be 0.1 of a degree. 0.1 of 1 degree. But it depends upon your time frame. In the immediate term, it would not be because it takes time for the methane to oxidise. 
So are, it depends entirely upon your time scale. Are you surprised, and I was very interested in listening to you, Professor Thorne, um, you talk about, you spoke about the International Panel on Climate Change and the Paris Agreement and all the different things. Are you surprised that um, the EU, uh, you spoke about gas and how, det how detrimental that was in the line of methane and, and problems that way. Um, are you surprised that it's now become green in the EU even though a cow seems to have become black? I, I think that there are very significant questions that we still need to work through indeed in in that that regard um, gas has been seen as a bridge fuel um, but we looking at the geopolitical situation the unprovoked aggression of Russia in Ukraine we would be wise to try and get our energy from renewable sources entirely as quickly as possible okay thanks chair that's all I have to